Hey everybody, it's AK Man 1984, and I'm here in my Tekkit world in front of my nuclear reactor to show you some updates for this thing I've, I've been working on. And also at the same time, I'm going to show you a tutorial on uh, something I've uh, been asked in my other videos to do. So I'm going to show you that while I show you some small updates I've done to this uh, nuclear reactor. If you haven't seen some of the things I've already done, I'll show it to you again. So let's run to this again. So let's go AKMAN 1984. And then password 1984. Authorization code 1984. So the door opens, we go inside, the door closes. And it says, Welcome to the nuclear reactor controller room, AKMAN 1984. Hello, AKMAN 1984. Please enter password to continue. So I put my password. And here we have the same stuff. If I press 1, you see the lights. And if you turn it off, the lights turn off. And then the lights turn back on. Reactor lights turn on. And reactor lights turn off. So that's that. And then the door system has not changed really, so let's open the front door and let's open the reactor door so we can go inside there. And then the, the outside door is open also. So, um, what I've done is uh, I changed, I got the monitor display working, and also I had the reactor controls working also, but Something happened. I some I changed some stuff, so I have to rework the code for the reactor controls. So I can't show you that, but there was some cool stuff I had uh, going in there. But I'll show you next time. I promise. Um, no other system really works yet. So let's go into the monitor display, and we have here it says show world time, show reactor information, device status, and clear display. Show, so show world time is basically it's going to show you the time in Minecraft. Uh, so let's put that on. And it's currently 9.21 a.m. So if we go through the times, so here it's noon. So see it says set time to noon. Noon is 12 p.m. Set time to dusk. Dusk is 6 p.m. And midnight is well zero a.m. And dawn is six a.m. So there you go. So it's set back to twelve p.m. Now if you press two, uh, show reactor information. Well, that basically gives you the display of the what's happening with the reactor. And uh, yeah, as you see, there's this little refresh thing going on. Uh, that's because it's refreshing the page every uh, couple of seconds. But I think I'm going to change that because um, I'll see what I'm going to do with that. But right now, I don't like it. That's being flashy, kind of like that. I'm going to fix that. But uh, yeah, this is, I've already shown you this. But the only information that keeps updating is the reactor. I mean, the MFSU. See, it already changed a little bit. There you go. Changes again. So. Um, device status is not working yet, but what this does is basically shows you what's on and what's off. So if I pressed it, it will show you that the interior lights are on, uh, the reactor lights are on, and uh, all, whatever other devices I got in here. So the reactor would be part of the, one of the devices, the ice maker, uh, pretty much, pretty much everything in here. So force field, uh, alarms doors so I would, sh I would show you what's open what's on what's off and if we go back into the uh, monitor display settings or whatever <laughs> uh, if we press 4 it clears the display so uh, also this is not fully finished uh, this this uh, how it is here it's not fully f finished yet um, I'm gonna have more options here that you can have the world time to stick in a corner of one of your display. So if you want it on the top left corner, you can put it there. Top, uh, bottom right, bottom sorry, bottom left, bottom right, 
and top right. So the tutorial I'm going to be showing today is how to display time, uh, world time, Minecraft world time onto a uh, monitor. Or you can also have it on the computer if you want to. I'll show you how to do that. But this uh, tutorial is pretty simple. So let's go into uh, Notepad++ and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so now I'm on Notepad++ and here's the code. Uh, this first thing here is, I've already shown you this, but if you haven't seen it, it's a function that I found from uh, my friend on the uh, Computercraft forums. He wrote this code. It's pretty much to uh, center your um, text in um, in a monitor. This is only works for monitors. You can make it work for computers too, but you have to change this into term dot get size and term dot get cursor pose and also here you have to change this to print also this too so yeah here you just have to put set cursor post post and here just print um, so if you haven't seen this before you can copy it but I did not, did not cop, come up with this uh, but uh, this is pretty much to center your text to any type of uh, computer or monitor you want. So once you do that, uh, the first thing you do obviously is while true do, and you set the profile to the back. Now this, guys, uh, don't forget to change this uh, back. Now my computer is on the back of my monitor, so this is why mine here is back. If you're if your computer is on the left side or the right side or even the front, you have to change this. Also, it can go top or bottom. So, just make sure where your mon your computer is to your monitor, and change that. Uh, change this back to the correct side of your monitor. I mean, your computer. So, my computer, uh, my monitor, sorry, is on the back of my. Uh, the monitor is on the back of my computer so you have to change this don't forget to change it because I got a lot of comments on my last monitor video on people that could not figure out why their monitor was not working it's pretty sure because of this so don't forget to change this alright so once you got that set up uh, the next thing you do is monitor clear so it clears the monitor and here you set the scale to 5. You can change this to any number between 0, uh, sorry, 1, yeah, sorry, 0, sorry, 0 0.1 to 5. So the smallest obviously will be 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.1, and then you could do 1 also, or you could do 1.5, you could do 2.5, you could do 3.5, or whatever one or two whatever eight but uh, you can go from zero to point one to five that's it you can't go any higher you can't go any lower so here I set the five which is the maximum which you saw on the monitor that's the maximum text scale you can go up to here um, now here I have put the cursor at position two because my monitor is um, I think it's four or three. Anyways, yeah, I think it's three. So it's three uh, blocks high, uh, and you can uh, here I put zero because I don't want it to move from left or right. So here I just want it to, from, to move from up or down. Now this is not the best way to write this, but uh, there's there is a better way to do this. But um, I did it like this because I. This is how I do it all the time. Uh, and here you see print centered. Now you see that the, the function print center is called here. So every time you do print center, it's going to print uh, or it's, it's going to write to the monitor. So if you do print center and then you do this command, okay, the, this will basically show the time. In a, in a time format. Okay, So this is how the code has to be written, exactly how it is here. So uh, take a good look at this uh, code. 
You can also use this in a computer. You just have to write, you just have to change this to just print in lowercase, all lowercase. Here it's like this because I'm calling the function. See here, it has to be the same as your function. If you don't want to do that, then you just write print, okay? So for me, I'm calling the function here because I want the text to be centered. So this is why I'm calling this. And uh, everything else is important. Make sure you put all these in the correct spaces because if you do not do it like this, it's not going to work. So take a good look at this and how it is. And it has to be exactly the same. So this uh, part, you don't have to you don't have to worry about this part. This is just for myself. Uh, this is for to do some other functions and the other stuff. And this probably will change in the future. But this, this is not important. Also at the at the end, don't forget to put two times uh, two ends. Why two ends? Because well, for me. Is because I have while true do here, and I also have a function. Uh, sorry. Um. Uh, yeah. Sorry. You need one end, not two ends. Uh, I have two ends because I have a if function here, if command. But yeah. So what you need to do is like this. Uh, one end here. Also, don't forget this end here. If you're gonna add the function, this end basically finishes the. It ends the function command. Uh, that's running here. So this is would be your pretty much your code to display a clock on your uh, monitor um, and the computer. If you want it to be on the computer, you don't need all this. You just need pretty much oops, right, that. So if you do this, you'll have a text format time of the Minecraft time. If you don't want the format time to be like this, well, you just do uh, print OS time uh, like this. Okay, so print OS time will uh, print out the time in the computer. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions on anything I want, uh, that you guys want me to do or you want you want to see. Uh, being done. Uh, if you want any new tutorials, let me know in the comments, guys. And it's always important, guys, to please like my videos, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.